Now, I have never had this happen before. We only got... Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ray's World. It is time to separate some copper from some zinc and see what kind of wheat pennies we can find. We are using our copper penny sorter to see if we can get that stuff separated. Remember, we are doing a year-long giveaway. We have a Google... Oh, my goodness. Would you look at that? That ought to be pretty easy to separate. They're all 2019s. We have a year-long giveaway going on, and we are about to get some awesome stuff from Canada to add to our prize pool. And look at that, another one. 2019, uncirculated. I think we got a couple of them in here. Let's blast through those real quick. There is a Google form in the video description that you can use to get entered into that giveaway. Looks like this one might be a mix. All right, this one's a mix. It's just the ones on the end that are uncirculated. So we are gonna sort all of our copper using the copper penny sorter. And at the end of a year, we're gonna tally up how much copper we saved in 2020. If you do use that Google form to get entered, and I suggest that you do, be sure that you get your guests in in dollars and cents. There was one individual, I can't remember who it was, they put their guess in the comments of a video. You cannot do that, it will not get entered. Do not put your guess in the comments. You have to use the Google form that is in the video description. Yep, another one. 2019 uncirculated pennies. What about this one? Here's another one that looks like it might be uncirculated. Yep. Also 2019s. I think that might be it. We have a mix of some customer rolls in here, so I'm excited to get into those. Last hunt was awesome. Check out last hunt. We got an Indian head in the last hunt. I will, of course, show you all the copper that we find at the end of the video, in addition to everything we've collected so far. All right, well, that is it. We got five, looks like five zinc uh, Canadians. I've got a nice little trash can to put those in. And, well, nasty junk came out of all of these. Let's see, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 copper Canadians. Now be sure when you're doing your guess using the Google form in the video description for the giveaway. It does not count copper, Canadians, or wheat pennies that we find. Two dimes, check it out, two dimes. They were in the customer rolls, probably because they kind of looked like pennies, but I love finding two dimes. We'll send those back to the bank. 
I got two young heads, a 1963 and a 1963, so two young heads. Very neat. Going in the pickles. Get in the pickles. And then we got a King George 1948. King George the Sixth. Very, very cool. I love seeing those. And guys, whoops. That's not my King George jar. That's my bird scent jar. That's my King George jar. Now, I have never had this happen before. We only got two wheat pennies, and one of them is trashed. It's a 1955 Denver. The other one is a 1934. 1934 wheat penny. So yeah, there you go. Never happened to me before. I've never gotten that few of wheat pennies. I've never been skunked, thankfully. But I've never gotten that few of wheat pennies. And our wheat pennies are currently in our rice jar. One, two, there you go. Let's take a look at the copper that we got this week. There is the copper that we got this week. Now I'm gonna go through this really quick just to double check and make sure that we didn't get any that bounced, accidentally bounced into the bucket because that happens, or got caught up in the machine and got sorted improperly. All right, well that's it, one shield penny. That was it, one shield penny. A 2016 snuck in there. We had a ton of shield pennies this time. Let's take a look at all of the rest of the copper. Jack's picking up everything that fell on the floor for me. All right, here we go. That is it. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. Take care. I will see you all really, really soon. Bye.